Jim Lesner. I live in Hermosa Beach. Um, up on your wall there it says, integrity in all we say and do. And I have a question about the integrity of the company that's recommended here. Uh, in May, a newspaper up in Washington State found out that ATS was behind, hidden behind a bunch of comments that had been posted in their newspaper. And by the way, there's a handout going down the road there. It says about ATS on it. It's a one-page handout. Um, they were hiding behind these comments, not revealing who they were, but just posting comment after comment about the cameras, uh, for the cameras. It didn't stop there, though. They also, uh, that, that got their vice president, who was posting the comments, uh, suspended. But it didn't stop there. They also have a, a front group that they support called the National Coalition for Safer Roads. And that front group puts out all kinds of stuff uh, on the Internet, videos, um, guest editorials, advertorials, and they don't reveal the ATS behind them. Um, it's just, you know, and, and behind ATS, by the way, is Warren Buffett and Geico. They put $50, 50 billion dollars into Goldman Sachs, and the same month, Goldman Sachs put $50 million, a one-third share, into ATS. I also, I also gave you a handout, Candor by Officials. That's the heading on the top. And this, this is a reason not to go with any contract. Namely, it's officials from a number of Southern California towns basically telling you that the things don't work. And I hope you'll read that. Thank you. Thank you. Christina Heller. Hi, um, I'm Christina Heller. I live in Hollywood, and I'm here with a couple of friends, one from downtown and one from Koreatown. Never done this before, but I feel pretty passionately about the red light cameras, so I came down today. I just want to bring up three things. First, that I do think that these remove a fundamental right to face your accuser, which um, questions the constitutionality of these cameras, and I think that that alone, the fact that they're, they're questionably unconstitutional, should be a, like reason enough to reject them. Um, two, I think that they don't have anything to do with safety or justice. And I originally thought that maybe they were just a fundraiser for the state, but now that I've listened to Commissioner Scobin, I think maybe they're just a fundraiser for the contractors. But um, I got one when I was taking a left on red. I kind of like didn't notice, and I was at the end of a long line turning left. And it was a $466 ticket, which I know you guys are all aware of the price, but it just seemed very unreasonable for a victimless crime and um, particularly nefarious considering that the ticket was issued to me without any face-to-face -face contact. I just received it in the mail. Um, and so I think the fact that the fines are so insane also kind of is indicative of, I think, their real purpose. And three, I don't think that they create safer intersections. Um, I think that I I'm personally know because I got one and it was a very expensive, hard lesson and I did pay it, um, that I, when I go to the intersections, I'm slamming on my brakes at the yellows. People are either speeding through, you know, like as fast as they possibly can to get past the yellow line before it turns, I guess they have to be across the yellow line before it turns yellow, or they're slamming on their brakes. So I don't actually think it creates safer intersections. Um, so I just encourage you, as an American citizen who defends liberty, to uh, disapprove the contract for the red light cameras and remove the program in Los Angeles. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Brian Ott, followed by Tim Maloney and Sam Aaron. Hi, my name is Brian Ott, and thank you, commissioners, for listening to what I have to say. Um, sorry I have a cold, so if I have to excuse myself, I apologize in advance. I'd like to express my opposition to the red light cameras for a lot of the same reasons that she just mentioned. Um, when I hear the arguments, I've heard probably 95% of the topic today was on finances. Law enforcement should not be about finances. These red light cameras are not about safety. They're about a company with a profit motive, trying to make money off people, and they're making tons of money. It doesn't help the city, obviously, because we're, what, a million and a half in, in the hole or whatever the number is. So the city doesn't benefit. The motorists don't benefit. The only one that benefits is the company, ATS. They are the only beneficiaries of this. Um, the other problem with the red light cameras is, first of all, I've never had one myself, fortunately. But if you have a ticket in the mail, you're not going to remember an incident that happened two, three, four weeks ago. So the person can't defend themselves against an incident that there's no way they could possibly remember. So there's just so many problems with it that I just really encourage you to say no to it and not renew the contract. Thank you very much. 
Hi, Jay Bieber. Uh, nice to see you all again. And um, uh, just to remind you, I'm the Executive Director of Safer Streets LA. I'm also a, a board member of the Sherman Oaks Neighborhood Council. Um, and I'm also a uh, newly appointed member of the um, city's Pedestrian Safety Advisory Committee. And I want to thank the Commission for their diligence in looking at this issue from all points of view. Um, and um, the thing that I want to mention here in, in a little bit of time that we have left to discuss this is um, that a no vote is not the end of the safety issue here in, in LA. Um, starting tomorrow, um, we are still going to be identifying intersections that have a problem and making suggestions as to how we can improve safety. We want to take a look at some of these funds that might have been allocated and see if maybe we can put up some uh, lighted pedestrian crossing signs. Uh, there are some that are newly um, uh, are new, uh, new types that uh, cost about 10000 each, and with the, the $3 million or so that you're going to spend a year, you can put up uh, about 400 of those throughout the city. And uh, so this is not the end of our involvement in this. Uh, we, uh, we look forward to engaging with um, the council members that we've been working closely with and also um, the Department of Transportation and also the police department in looking at some of these issues and seeing what we can really do to improve safety in the city, um, reduce fatalities, reduce accidents, and, um, and that's what we're going to be focusing on going forward. So we thank you very much.